Hey guys, it's Nina from Vera Focus. Got some exciting news for you today. You might have heard of all of these new mixed reality headsets that have been coming out that Microsoft have been working on with various partners from Lenovo, Dell, Acer, etc, etc, etc. Well, today they've announced that there is a new mixed reality headset and they've partnered up with Samsung. It's called the Samsung HMD Odyssey. The new Samsung HMD Odyssey is powered by two dual MOLED displays, which Samsung is known for. It's got a built-in microphone, it's got built-in spatial 4K G headphones, and it's got inside-out tracking and 110 degree field of vision. The new Samsung HMD Odyssey will be retailing for $499 and will be available from the 6th of November. And Microsoft also showcased a little bit of Halo. So we talked about this last time when Microsoft did a conference in Berlin. So if you're a huge fan of Halo and you are, you are like super excited about like Halo coming to mixed reality headsets, you'll be able to see several iconic characters in mixed reality for the first time. I want to, I want to definitely see some like aliens. I want to be in space. I want to shoot things. I'm just getting, I'm just getting a little excited. I'm just, just chill out. I want to hear Cortana and like see her appear in front of me. That would be amazing, like just. Okay, and you will be able to try Halo Recruit from October the 17th if you go to any Microsoft store or if you want to go to the Microsoft store online, you'll be able to download it and try it out for free. On top of that, Microsoft have also announced several other really cool things. They've announced that Steam VR and Altspace VR will be available for the mixed reality headsets. So if you are a developer for virtual reality and you have your game or experience on Steam VR, you are now able to access it today for the mixed reality headsets and consumers will be able to view your experience this holiday season. From October the 17th, mixed reality fans will be able to access through the Microsoft Store 20,000 apps. Now talk about a lot of content. That is gonna be incredible for anybody who wants to pre-order the mixed reality headsets. There are different dates and different prices available for the different mixed reality headsets according to what you want and what you can afford and what you find comfortable. So let's go through them right now. You've got the Acer for $399, which will be available from October the 17th. The Dell Visor for $449, available from October the 17th as well. You've got the HP Windows Mixed Reality Headset for $449, available from October the 17th. The Lenovo Explorer for $399, available from October the 17th. And you've got the Samsung HMD Odyssey for $499, available from November the 6th. Now, if you guys watched my last video that I did on Microsoft, you will remember that I definitely said if you do get a mixed reality headset from Microsoft, you have to remember that you also require a laptop or PC that is able to run virtual reality. These are not standalone headsets where you don't require anything else but the headset. You do need a PC or a laptop with these mixed reality headsets. Just bear that in mind when you go and purchase one because you got to make sure that your computer or your laptop is up to specs and is able to run like 90 frames per second, like for virtual reality or 60 frames per second if you're like lower spec. So Microsoft is throwing the term mixed reality out quite a bit, but I just wanna make sure that for you guys, if you guys are confused, these mi these Microsoft mixed reality headsets are, are catered for virtual reality. You definitely won't be able to see augmented reality like you do with the HoloLens, but they're trying to sort of play around with the software and hardware and they kind of borrow from each other. So that's why they're using the term mixed reality. These headsets aren't exactly 100% mixed reality, uh, unless they've got something super special that I don't know about, which I'd really like to know. If anybody from Microsoft is listening or watching this video, I'd really like to know. And for those of you who had tons and tons of fun in like a virtual reality headset, thinking that like, oh, hey, Second Life is still alive and they go around alt space and they like go to these really strange places and they're just walking along in like some obscure land and world and suddenly someone pops up and they have a conversation and they're like, hey, I'm Nina from VR Focus, who are you? And it's like, oh, hey, I am Chris from some unknown country. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what are you, what are you doing here in like this alien world? And he's like, I'm just checking it out. Well, you might think that that's kind of super weird, but like Alt Space VR was all about that social interaction and putting people in a virtual world. And it was kind of like Second Life. Uh, and Microsoft have acquired Altspace VR, meaning that that social platform where you like got to enjoy a space with your friends and you were able to be socially in virtual reality, that is happening. That is now happening for mixed reality headsets, which I am super excited about. Talking about social VR, 
Minecraft will also be available for Mixed Reality and I was a huge fan of this franchise. I was always diggy diggy hole, you know, I was just digging into a mountain for ages on the beta, feeding the wolf my, my bones, <laughs> hitting pigs and like making... Anyways, Minecraft is coming to Mixed Reality. That should be super exciting for anybody, especially if you're a parent and you're like worried about what's out there. Uh, what games your kids can play and they like Minecraft, Minecraft, Virtual Reality or Mixed Reality. That is, that is, that'll be tons of fun and it's social. So they're not like by themselves playing a video game in the corner with like some weird headset. No, they're being social. So what's really great about these Mixed Reality headsets is one, there is a lot of content that's going to be available for these headsets. Two, two of those are very social. So we're talking about Allspace VR and Minecraft. Three, you can now pre-order the headsets if you want, if you go to the Microsoft Store and you can try them out if you go to any Microsoft Store as well. You can try out Halo for the first time in Mixed Reality from October the 17th and they've got a new Samsung HMD Odyssey headset out. So there, you got it. You got a whole range of choices of Mixed Reality headsets for different prices and you've got tons of content available and if you are a developer, I would totally head over to Steam VR and make sure that your your game is like ready to go for these headsets because I have a feeling this holiday some people might want to actually buy this headset if they have a laptop or PC that can run it. So that was the latest news. Will you buy a mixed reality headset this holiday season? And if you are a developer, are you making sure that your game is going to be available on Steam VR? And if you are a huge fan of Halo, do you think that this is going to be it's going to be pretty amazing? And what do you think of the new Samsung? HMD Odyssey headset, like, I think it's really pretty. I've tried out the Acer headset, I tried out the Dell headset. I really want to try out like the HP headset and the Lenovo headset, but this, this Samsung, this Samsung headset looks pretty sleek, pretty nice. And I'm guessing because of the higher price tag that Samsung have delved a lot into virtual reality because of obviously the Samsung Gear VR, they might know a little bit more about the industry than sort of the other competitors and, um, it's black and shiny. Who doesn't want black and shiny? Like super sleek, right? Everyone wants that. I am super curious about more of the specs, how heavy it is, if it's actually comfortable to wear. It looks like sort of the back strap looks kind of familiar to what like the Oculus Rift sort of has. So that like with the audio deluxe strap, that's quite comfortable. So super excited to try out that mixed reality headset. If you've got one, would love to know your thoughts, put them into the comment section below. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please go to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality and mixed reality and augmented reality and all of the different types of realities. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.